just finished our winter build, so today we're going to show you around and look at some of the cool bits that we've added in. And this is it. <laughs> Inside the van. I'll start by showing you the kitchen. It's definitely my favourite part of the van. It always is my favourite part of the van. This is a small kitchen that's split into two, so the main working part of the kitchen is over here. The best bit about this is the choice of worktop, which is a four biker laminated worktop and a really, really nice sheet of layered ply. In this two bay kitchen, we've got a two berth hob and that runs from the gas underneath sunken black stainless steel sink which also drains to a waste tank underneath the van as well it's hot water at the tap and we've got a nice matte black shower head hose <laughs> and this is pretty handy because it comes out quite far so you can wash your dog love that tap proper tiles proper grout and a nice ash surround which matches the ceiling so over here we've got the other half of the kitchen, matching worktop, matching tile splash back with the ash trim. Really big drawer here, nice soft clothes on there as well. And we've got a few bits like a hanging rail over here and also a double plug socket here in case you've got any kitchen stuff. And in these kitchen cupboards, this is a nice big cupboard under the sink which we've kept as much plumbing out of as possible. This one under here houses as much of the stuff that you want to just get out of the way. Because it's being used for full-time living, we needed quite a lot of storage. So we've got a full height wardrobe. Another section down here, a single row of overhead cupboards. And this one's got a small section, which is all the controls. And over the cab, storage in there, which goes right the way down. So the bathroom, we've got marble waterproof panels. There's a shower in there with hot water and cold water and decent pressure, which is really nice. We've got a composting toilet here, which is removable for when you have a shower and it's environmentally friendly as well. It doesn't use any nasty chemicals or anything. Everything's waterproofed in there and it's got heating point as well, which is really handy. So after a shower, hang your towels up or wet clothes, turn the extractor fan on at the top, close the door, put the heating on, dry everything. In the back half of the van we've got a U-shaped seating area, two benches with backs and one without a back here so you can sit out and look that way. Dining table which is the same material as the worktops also pulls out, sits down, backrests, sit in the middle and then you can create a full bed area here. Because it's a small van, it's definitely good to utilise the whole space all the time rather than just having one just for night out. There's quite a lot going on in here, but it's all chosen specifically because it's powering quite a big off-grid system. So we've got a massive solar panel on top, 300 watt solar panel, 360 amp hours of batteries. It's pretty much all Victron energy stuff, which is what we put in all of our builds. The main components we've got in here are MultiPlus, which is a inverter and short hookup. The solar controller, the battery to battery controller, so it charges while you drive as well. Big kill switches for those three things, just makes it really easy and quick to isolate different sections. We've got two small consumer units here, which is like mini versions of what you have at home. One is for plug sockets uh, when you're on the inverter, so when you're on batteries. And the other one is for when you're on the hookup, all the cables are hidden as much as possible, you don't have to worry about it. You can connect to everything on your phone so you can keep an eye on your batteries and you can keep an eye on all your different systems, how much solar charge you're getting, which is really handy as well. 